Morning, Stuart from BM Pro here at New Age over in Campbellfield. Uh, here to run you through some tech features on the uh, Trek displays. So we see our four buttons here. Our four buttons uh, do two features. They allow us to control the van when we're in use and they help us with the setup. So we have our battery isolation button, our home button, which is our back button for when we're editing, our light button, which will allow us to turn the lights on or off uh, for the background light. Simply by holding that in as well, will allow the light to turn off as we see or simply with the touch of the button turn it back on and our water pump button so press of the water pump turns the pump on uh, pump one that is holding in the uh, pump button will operate pump two holding that button back in will also turn it back off for our setup if we like the home button if we hold the home button in, it will take us to our setup screen. And this is where our buttons along the side there will do uh, another feature or additional features uh, of the Trek, which our battery button becomes our edit, our home button becomes our back button, our light button becomes our up button, and our water pump button becomes our down. So when you're running through your features, these will be the main buttons you will be pushing. Edit is our enter, back is our escape key or our back through our setup and our up and downs. So with our trick, if we hold our home button in, that will take us into our setup screen as we can see there it says the word setup and this will allow us to go through the menus to adjust the clock the water tank our battery capacity which is set for 100 amp probably one of the most crucial ones so to set that we simply hit edit and we can see our flashing on our track so adjust it to the correct um, amp hour capacity so if you've got two 100 amp hour batteries in parallel you want to set it for 200 uh, amp hours as I'm doing now it's now set for 200 however in this particular van we only have uh, one battery so we'll dial that back to uh, 100 which is our default setting so um, as you can see there that's now adjusted the unit um, on our battery capacity. Yep. A 240 charge will do a full sync on the system, therefore doing the correct coolant counts back into the, the BP system and therefore giving you the correct state of charge on your graph, plus your uh, time remaining will also display correctly. Moving on from there, if we go back into our set up the screen back in the setup and we can simply scroll up to our clock there adjusting the time simply hit edit and we get our am pm and we can adjust that for 24 hours just by hitting the up button hit edit again and our time starts to uh, start flashing there. So we can simply go up on our hours, hit edit again to go across the minutes, as you can see, it's already gone across to uh, AM. By pressing up again, we go on our uh, water tanks and we can change our water tanks from one, two, three and four tanks to one tank, to whatever configuration we wish to do. 
simply hit edit on our tanks and this will allow us to go to T1, this is your tank 1, T2, T3. T3 we can see is non-flashing at the moment. We hit edit and we can see that it, the tank is listed as off. Now we can see that tank 3 is now turned on and there is water within that tank already. Hit back and that will remain on. If we go through and hit edit again, we can change the tank. The TYP is for type, CLN is for clean. We can change that by hitting edit, now it is flashing, now it is turned into a dirty tank. So we've now gone to a single solid line on our tank, while the top two are flashing. So that a flashing indicates that we have two empty clean tanks, the single solid indicates that we have one empty dirty tank. Back in our setup screen again, we simply by pressing up, we can see our alternative low voltage um, warning, and we can simply adjust that from 11 volt. We can go up to 12, 13, and it's in five, uh, 0.5 volt increments. 11.5 simply hit back now our advanced settings will allow you to change charge voltage uh, on bulk So we can bring that down if we need to or go up if we need to depending on the on the unit if it's something like lithium it'll be set for 14.6 uh, in the lithium profile anyhow so and back to save it That is an overview of our Trek display. Thank you very much for your uh, time today and uh, have a good one.